welcome back to my channel or if you are new to my channel welcome I actually have gotten a ton of new subscribers recently so I thought that the perfect video to film today would be a Q&A now if you've been following me on all of my social media um, websites apps whatever I will link them down below but you know that this has been a long time coming this video I keep kind of snapping that hey I'm doing a Q&A send me your questions and then you know things have gone wrong with my computer with my camera so it hasn't happened but today it is going live I have a lot of questions that I've been saving up over the past two months so I'm just gonna jump right into it now the first question what program or info would you recommend for strength training slash weight training newbies? I just got a gym membership and I'm kind of lost. Thanks. All right, so if you are referring to a beach body program, which I'm gonna assume you're not because you're at the gym, um, but I'll answer it anyways. I would say Shaleen Extreme is your best bet. Beachbody has a lot of really great um, weightlifting programs, including Body Beast, um, Hammer and Chisel, the 21 Day Fix, and the 21 Day Fix Extreme. But those are more so for people that kind of have been working out for a while, that kind of know what they're doing. Shaleen Extreme, I think, is the perfect int introduction to weightlifting for women. That's one of the first programs I ever did. So there's that. In terms of actually weightlifting at the gym, I would say there is a ton, and I mean a ton, of free content on YouTube. You have Nikki Blackheader, um, you have Christian Guzman, you have Buff Bunny, you have Heidi, Heidi Summers is Buff Bunny. Um, I will list a few of my favorite competitors, weightlifters down below. They are obviously advanced, but they offer a lot of free content, a lot of free lifting programs. But if you're intimidated by that, then I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend bodybuilding.com or the bodybuilding app because you can look for a program based specifically on what you're trying to find. Like if you're trying to do something for the glutes or to lose weight or tone up or um, a beginner's weightlifter program, that will be there on the app. So I highly recommend that. Next question, can you do an eyeshadow tutorial? Your eye makeup always looks so good. If I'm being honest, I really don't think I'm that great at makeup. In fact, today I'm not having a good makeup day, I don't think. Um, I had considered filming like basic makeup tutorials before, but honestly, I'm just not there yet. I'm not in a place where I feel comfortable filming it and I feel like I'm good at you know camera angles and stuff. So maybe in the future, but for the most part, I keep my makeup really, really simple. Like most things in my life, I'm very minimal with every aspect, including makeup. Do you still eat using the 21 day meal plan? Okay, so with the 21 day fix, the reason I love the program so much is because it teaches you how to eat properly, but you will not stick with that forever. It's basically showing you this is about, you know, how much of this you should be eating and how much of this you should be eating. So you're not going to spend forever putting stuff into containers. It's literally training your mind so you can get an idea of what your food is supposed to look like. So am I following the program specifically? No. Do I still use the containers every once in a while? Yes. But by this point, I've been doing this for so long that I already kind of know what I'm supposed to be eating, how much I'm supposed to be eating. And I also follow macros, so I don't follow the specific plan as much. No, I am not currently following any meal plan associated with the 21 day fix. Do I recommend it still? Yes, absolutely. I think it is fantastic for beginners. This is a question I get all the time, every single day, honestly, every day. And it is, are you still water only washing? Are you still no poo? I saw that you are no longer water only. Why did you quit? I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I already explained that and I think it was my one year no poo video which I again will link down below that has all the reasons kind of why. Um, but to put it basic, I it's just it didn't really work for my lifestyle. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the way my hair responded to it. But I exercise every single day and I go hard at the gym. So I'm constantly sweating and just being gross and having to find ways to throw my hair up so that it's not getting affected by that. Um, and that's a daily thing. I do still though only wash like once or twice a week just depending on my level of activity. 
it, it just didn't fit my lifestyle. So no, I am not still water only, no poo. What color is your lip color? Love it. Um, this was asked, I don't even know what photo that is, so I can't go back to that. Oh, excuse me, I'm like feeling stuffy. Um, but I will show you the colors that I wear basically all the time. They're kind of my go-tos. And that is NYX Abu Dhabi. That is like one of my favorite um, lip colors. It's a soft matte lip cream. And I use the NYX lip liner in brown. Or I will use even more often the lip liner in Ever Tojours. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's SPL828. I also often use the, what is this? Um, Color Sensational line by Maybelline in 135 make me pink and I also wear Maybelline's 215 totally toffee which is a totally toffee yeah totally toffee which is a nice neutral brown shade so anytime you see me wearing colors it's usually an overlapping of those like today I have I'm not really a fan of today's color but I am wearing the um, 828 lip liner with the 135 Make Me Pink color topped with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. So that is what I'm wearing today. Hey, I was wondering if you had thought about doing the Masters Hammer and Chisel program. That is Beachbody's, uh, not newest because I think 22 Hardcore came out after, but it's one of Beachbody's newest programs. It is with um, Autumn Calabrese and Sagi. It is a weightlifting program that is meant to really tone up and chisel your body. It is an extreme program. Do I plan on doing it? Yes, I want to do it now, but as you guys know that I, you know, I mentioned many times, I'm currently doing um, the Skinny Confidential's Bombshell Body Guide, so I kind of want to be exclusive to that. So I do plan on doing the program. I just don't know when. You know, once we get into summer, maybe that's when I'll do it because I'll be home more, but we're also doing like a lot of mud runs and that kind of thing. So I will keep you guys up to date. If you're not following me on Facebook, do that because I always keep everything there as well as my blog and here on YouTube. What has been the hardest part about switching to a plant-based diet? I am going to do a whole video on going vegan, which I hate even saying that, um, but I'm going to do a whole video on it. But I would say for sure, without even a question of doubt, um, the hardest part for me is convenience. We, you know, we are on the go so much. We're always doing something. My kids are in sports. So we do eat out, I'd say fairly often. I would say I pick up fast food maybe two times a week and on the weekends we tend to eat out most days like Saturday and Sunday and I'm finding that the majority of places that you go don't have vegan options and it is becoming really difficult for me to go and not have to worry about cheeses or I mean anything it has been really difficult thankfully here we have a little vegan and vegetarian cafe so the majority of time the majority of the time that is where I go but when I am out of town it's just really difficult like we will go through a drive through just out of desperation and there's nothing for me to eat so definitely without a question of doubt Convenience is the hardest part about switching to a plant-based diet. I wish all these businesses would kind of get on board and give us some more like options. Even salads, if you go to a fast food, all they have is like chicken Cajun salads and crispy chicken salads and it all has meat and I don't want it. So there's that, convenience. What are your thoughts on juicing? If you follow me on Snapchat or Facebook, you would know that I am obsessed with juicing. I love it. Juicing is one of the fastest ways for your body to absorb um, the nutrients. Just like if you take a supplement, you are going to absorb it better and faster if it is in liquid form as opposed to capsule form. So I love juicing because it's basically an easy way to get what I need quickly. Um, when I'm feeling sick, the first thing I do is I go and get juices. I make juices at home all the time. I have a Breville juicer. If my husband, like he had back surgery, the first thing I did when we got home was I went and got him a juice. So I am a huge fan of juicing, obviously. Do you take a break after finishing a program? Um, after each program, yeah, usually, because most of the time I do a program from Beachbody at least, 
when it's released. So every time a new program is released, I kind of jump on that bandwagon because I want to see what it's all about. So for the most part, I take a break, yes, but I'm never like off. I don't do like completely just doing nothing. I go from one program and then I still eat the same way. I still do workouts. I just don't go from one program to the next. What's your daily routine when you wake up until you are going to bed? I'm actually currently in the process of trying to film a kind of either day with me or my morning routine, so be on the lookout for that. What's your favorite program that you like? Oh goodness, I think I've answered this question before. I can't really pick a favorite because they all they all did so many different things for me and I associate them with different points in my life. I would say if I had to kind of pick right now the one that really like got me on a serious, serious path would be the 21 Day Fix Extreme because you guys know I had kind of massive results with that. It just, it really changed my whole mindset. Like it, it put me in a position where I really wanted to take my fitness to another level. Also Insanity I have to say because that is my old school soulmate workout program. That is the program that got me back into this lifestyle after having children and having just so many different life changes. So Insanity in the 21 Day Fix Extreme I think I would say but I just have so many that I like. I have more that I enjoy than ones that I don't enjoy. In fact I can say the only one that I've done that I did not enjoy was Brazil Butt Lift which I couldn't even get past the second week because it just wasn't for me. Now to kind of end this video I'm just going to go over some, I wouldn't say there are like questions specifically for this Q&A but things that I've been asked that I figure are worth mentioning. A lot of people ask me um, should they do Focus T25, Insanity or Insanity Max because of course they are all Sean T workout programs and they're kind of geared towards the same audience. I can't really tell you which one you should do, it's very dependent on the kind of results that you are looking for. Um, if you are wanting to improve you know, your cardiovascular level, like say you are preparing for a run or a marathon and you want to just drop weight, Insanity is going to be the workout program for you because it is very high intensive cardio and cardio it just shrinks you. That's all it does. It doesn't really build muscle, it just shrinks you. And yes, there's some like body resistance in Insanity, but for the most part it's 45 minutes to 60 minutes of intense cardio. So that is going to shrink you, bring your waist in, make you smaller. Insanity Max 30 I feel like is if you want to do Insanity but you only have half the time, I would say go for Insanity Max 30 but you can't expect the same kind of results. In fact, you are probably going to gain a little bit of muscle mostly in your legs and in your arms because you are doing more body work and it's going to be the program that if you want to improve cardiovascularly kind of quickly that might be the program for you because you're basically pushing as hard as you absolutely can for as long as you can as long as you can and I would say Focus T25 while it is a m difficult program it's a step below Insanity and Insanity Max 30 so maybe if you are a beginner start with Focus T25 move on to Insanity Max 30 and then move on to Insanity depending on the results that you want. I've also received a lot of questions from mothers specifically about minimalism and basically saying you know I work a full-time job, I take care of the kids, I want to become minimalist but I don't know how to find the time to do it. I don't know how to go about it um, and I would just say like you you have to make the time because as crazy as that sounds like as duh like uh, that's where I'm coming to you I need to make the time but the thing is, half the reason you don't have the time to do it is because you are dealing with so many responsibilities in your house. So imagine if you were spending less time cleaning, if you were spending less time going through your kitchen trying to find the things that you need for dinner, you're going to already free up a ton of time. My house, I used to spend an entire morning while the kids were at school cleaning. Now I could pretty much get it out get it done within an hour or two because there's not anything, I don't have to be removing things and dusting or putting things back. So I guess just to start off I would say do a little bit when your kids go to sleep or have them help you in some way. 
Um, definitely go category by category as opposed to room to room because you're not going to make as much progress going room to room so you're going to feel like your time is wasted. So find like for example clothing. You know, go through your clothing, put them all in piles, get rid of everything that you don't want, things that don't bring you joy, and then go to your kids' rooms and have them help you. Have them really dig deep and say, do you like this shirt? Do you like this dress? And you yourself pay attention to what your kids actually wear because I can almost guarantee that they do not wear the majority of the clothes that they own and they stick to the same like 10 to 15 pieces. So. You just have to kind of find a way to make it work. I, When I was doing my kitchen, I used to clear out my kitchen while I was cooking. So I was already in there doing something that needed to be done for my family to begin with, and I just found a way to work decluttering and minimalizing into that. So I know maybe that's not the answer that you want, but you just kind of have to find the time, find the energy, and eventually it will free up that time that you are having trouble finding today if that makes sense. And the last thing I'm going to discuss that I'm looking at is a lot of people ask me about Shakeology. Do you need it during workout programs? That kind of thing. I've always said Shakeology is not a necessity. You definitely can lose weight, get healthy the old fashioned way just like people always have eating well and working out. It is not a necessity. Was it a necessity for me at the time? Yes, absolutely it was. I had a newborn baby. I was exhausted. There was no way I had the energy to do the workouts I needed to do, which was insanity at the time. And I have drank it every single day since 2012 when I started my program. So you just have to decide if it's something that would help you. Do I recommend it? Yes, absolutely, 100%. I think you should find a way to make it fit. Is it necessary? No, you can do it without, but that again is going to be completely up to you and what you're trying to achieve and maybe the trouble that you're having in achieving those goals. So those are my answers to the questions. I don't want to get this video any longer because it's already pretty long. So if you have additional questions, please leave them down below and I will add them to my list to film another Q&A. I like to film these because I like you guys to get a better idea of who I am and where I come from and my mindset. So thank you for being involved and um, sending in your questions. Be on the lookout because I have a giveaway coming up soon which I think is going to intrigue a few of you, um, a bunch of you actually. And until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye!